What's up, Greg? I hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to another episode of the Hyper Random Show. Today we're getting hyper, and you better believe we're gonna get a little bit random baloney. That's pretty random, right? So I've seen a couple videos on this dude, Guava Juice, before. Gus Johnson has a really good video about him if you want to go check that out. If you don't know who Guava Juice is, he is perhaps one of the kings of children's content on YouTube. He's got 16 million subscribers on YouTube. His videos do crazy numbers. His content is what I think I would call anti-relatable humor. None of the scenarios are relatable at all because none of this stuff ever happens, but he's going to make jokes about it anyway like it does. If you take a look at his YouTube channel, he has a very interesting mix of content. It seems like most of his recent videos are either TikTok life hacks, Among Us, or this like very bizarre fast food based humor content. And that's what I want to focus on today. He's got things like 10 things not to do at McDonald's, 10 things not to do at Dunkin Donuts, 10 things not to do at Starbucks, 10 things not to do at KFC. Honestly, it's fascinating to me and I want to show you guys. So let's go ahead and watch this video. It's called 10 things not to do at McDonald's. Two. Hello, ma'am, sir. Can I please order one hot copy, please? Will that be it, sir? Um, yeah, that would be. Ah! 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 It's hot! Ah! You mother! Ah! It's fire! All right, well, pretty solid start to a video, right? <laughs> First thing you shouldn't do at McDonald's, order coffee, because they'll literally kill you. That's kind of a neat little life hack, right? I never knew that. Is that kind of like a secret menu? Like how at Jamba Juice, if you you can order like secret smoothies that aren't on the menu, and at McDonald's, if you order a coffee, which is arguably one of their most popular items, they'll burn you to death. So you can kind of see what I'm saying, right? Like this is anti-relatable. There is no part of this that I was like, oh yeah, that happens to me all the time. I can relate to that. It was a woman walking into McDonald's and getting lit on fire with coffee. That can't happen, can it? Don't talk to the manager. I need to speak to your manager now. Jeez, Karen, chill. Okay, so now next scenario, this one, at first seems like it might actually be relatable, right? Because Karens are in the zeitgeist lately, asking to speak to a manager at McDonald's could be kind of like a Karen thing. This seems like it could be a good starting point for some good, relatable, observational humor. Let's check it out. What seems to be the problem here? Okay, yeah, never mind. It's not relatable anymore. The manager is Ronald McDonald. We have left the world where real things happen. Big dear man, no. Uh-oh, seems like Karen is broken. I know how to fix this. And now that Karen's a robot? See, this one almost started with a premise that makes sense, and then it just took a left turn. And then it took like 50 more left turns. It's just so hard to follow. It's like, is this even a story? Is there a plot to this? They're just like doing random things and crazy things are happening. I think it's really funny with these to take like the jokes that are supposed to be in here and try to imagine a stand-up comedian telling them instead. How about those Karens at McDonald's? Oh. <laughs> you guys know the ones? They're always asking to talk to the manager. Yes. That knows what I'm talking about. And then the manager comes out and it's Ronald McDonald. Ronald McDonald is the manager of every McDonald's. What is he talking about? I have what? no fucking idea. Is it Ronald McDonald? What? Well, it's not, not, it's not actually Ronald McDonald. It's Ronald McDonald mixed with the Joker, huh? right? No. He he's manages every McDonald's? No, he's not real. He comes out to talk to the Karen. He's like a mascot. And the Karen is malfunctioning because she's like, she was a robot the whole time. Wait, hold, what? Classic oh, Karen You're literally stuff. not no. making any sense. Wait, that doesn't Karen's happen. Robot. Are you just trying to make it easier? Okay, okay, all right, all right, easy, okay? I guess people don't get that one. I'll do a different joke. Okay. Okay, here, I got one. How come every time I order chicken nuggets at McDonald's, they bend me over the counter and start spanking my bare butt? No. Oh, oh, did that happen to anyone else? It happens you. every time I order chicken nuggets. No. It's never happened to me. Has it happened to you? No, I don't think so. It doesn't happen to anyone else? Somebody throw coffee at this asshole. Please tell me it happens to someone else. Yeah, set him on fire. Don't go to the drive-thru. Okay, so, so far, two of the things that we're not supposed to do is order coffee and go through the drive-thru. Drive through. Is there anything we can do at McDonald's? I feel like by the end of it, they're gonna like list everything that I would have done at McDonald's. Maybe it would be more helpful if they made a list of things that you can do at McDonald's. I swear by the end of this video, it's gonna be like, number 10, things not to do at McDonald's. Don't ever go to McDonald's. If I ever see your ass at McDonald's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick your butt. We're literally gonna kill you. We're gonna throw hot coffee on you and then we're gonna, and then we're gonna stab you with pitchforks. Don't try to fix the ice cream machine. It's... Just right down there. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, right down there. I think I see it. There you go. Yeah, yeah, right down there. I like that he said, yeah, I think I can see it, as he's like staring at the wall. I think I see it. There. Oh, yeah, the ice cream machine. Don't worry, I got it. Uh, no, dude, it's a. 
It's over here. Huh? The ice cream machine? It's right here. <laughs> All right, I think I got it working, dude. Mmm, this is gonna be some tasty ice cream. Could they not have just put something on that shelf that like kind of resembles an ice cream machine? They like rented or built this entire McDonald's set. They wrote the script out beforehand. They knew they were going to need something that looks like an ice cream machine. I assume that they write these beforehand. I guess I don't really know. In fact, maybe not. Or also they could have just changed the line to, I don't think I see it. Like he could have just been like, no, there's not an ice cream machine down here. And then they hit him in the head with the bottle. One of the weirdest things I think you'll notice about these videos is how the production value is simultaneously really good and also really really bad. They have this whole set, they've got costumes, they're wearing like uniforms, they've got certain props, they've got a nice camera, they've got lighting. But then for the script, they were apparently just like, we can just say anything and it's fine. Don't be a food inspector. Right this way, Mr. Food Inspector. What is this? You should have left Woody on the chance. Pasta. Now stay here for the rest of your life. Ah. Daddy, is that you? It's me, your son. I love you, Tucker, my son. Dad, chill. Honey, let me go into bed. Okay, aside from the fact that I literally have no idea what's going on or where this is going, I feel like every woman character in the videos that Guava Juice makes is like weirdly sexual for some reason. Like they either give them really big boobies and they're saying things like, when are we going to bed, sweetheart? Or there's another one of these McDonald's videos where Wendy from Wendy shows up and she's like, like this. I know a place where you can have anything you like. Which is really weird because I'm pretty sure Wendy is supposed to be like a little girl and not a grown man. Don't ask for a McFlurry. McWater. Maker. Ah. McFire. Ah. And McAir. McFlurry. That was so cool. But how is that don't order a McFlurry from McDonald's? If anything, that makes me want to order one more. That was sick. Even the dude who got the McFlurry was like, damn, that was really cool. <laughs> Things not to do at McDonald's. Never order a McFlurry. You want to know why? Because they might give you a goddamn McFlurry. And it's going to taste good. And it's going to be exactly what you wanted. And, uh, oh yeah, they're also going to make it in a really sick way. You know what else likes cheese? Uh... Mouse? M Mickey Mouse? I don't know why that's so funny to me, those two lines. You know what else likes cheese? Uh, mouse? Not mice, just mouse. You know what likes cheese? Mouse. There's only one mouse, and you bet your ass he likes cheese. Okay, that's enough about McDonald's. Let's check out 10 things not to do at Dunkin' Donuts. Here are 10 things not to do at Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, wait, 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 no, no! The production value of these videos is so confusing. They have like an entire Dunkin' Donuts set built with the orange walls and the signs. They've got like flat screen TVs with the menus behind them. This isn't filmed in a real Dunkin' Donuts. They made this set. They make these whole ass sets just to make these confusing videos. Don't ask if there are more donuts in the back. Hey, wise guy, you got any donuts in the back? Whatever is available on display, sir. Hi, right, you see, wise guy? I want the flavors, not the leftovers. I want the flavors, not the leftovers. Do you think that they write these down before they film them? Like, what does that line even mean? The donuts that are in front of him aren't leftovers. They're the donuts that are on display. I want the flavors. I just feel like it's so easy to make sense, especially when you've got probably so many resources like they do to be able to, you know, take time and write these videos beforehand. If I had to guess, I would say they probably have multiple writers. It still somehow comes off like they have to improv every scene, like they're on this crazy time crunch and they don't have time to like figure out the plot at all before they start and they just have to like go into it blind. Okay, come on, we gotta do this quick, okay? Action. What? I don't know my lines. You didn't give me anything. Just say something about the donuts. Anything. I, uh, I don't want the... I don't want the, these leftovers. I don't want leftover. I want, um, some kind of flavors. I want flavors. Okay, cut. Yeah, sorry, I know. We should probably redo that take. That didn't make any sense. All right, we're moving on, everybody. Next scene. Wait, what? But that was so bad. It didn't make any sense. Hey, buddy. Don't be so hard on yourself, all right? That was the best acting I've ever seen. How? Wait, but they must do some kind of writing because I'm pretty sure Guava Juice is playing both parts in a lot of these scenes, if not all of them. So they must have it written down because like they have to be talking to each other. I mean, maybe that's why it kind of seems like they're not really talking to each other and they're both just saying whatever they want to say. Don't fuss over the munchkin amounts. Wait, is this video sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts? It's starting to feel like these are messages that like corporate Dunkin' Donuts would put out to try to get people to act how they want in their, in their stores. <laughs> Don't ask if we've got more donuts in the bag. 
back. Don't fuss about the munchkin amounts, all right? We're gonna give you however many munchkins we want, and you're just gonna have to deal with it, okay? The next one's like, things not to do in Dunkin' Donuts. Never not buy all the donuts. How about that? And never say anything bad about the CEO either. While you're in Dunkin' Donuts, you better not disrespect David Hoffman. It hurts my feeling. I mean, it hurts his feelings. David Hoffman isn't writing this. This isn't David Hoffman. Man, don't be silly. I'm here to dunk these donuts. If you're not gonna help me, I'm gonna do it myself. Biscuit. Whoa, whoa, calm down, bro. You can't do that to our donuts. These videos make me feel tired. These videos make me feel like I needed to take a nap. Don't bring Starbucks inside Dunkin Donuts. Okay, another one that kind of makes it seem like this was written by corporate Dunkin. Hey kids, we're just like you. <laughs> we're making silly videos about Among Us and corporate entities like Dunkin Donuts. You know what would be really cool and funny? If you didn't buy Starbucks ever again. We were thinking that that would be kind of fun and goofy, so we're sending our friend Guava Juice to let to tell you about it. Who you'll listen to, right? Okay, cool. Don't ask for free donuts at closing time. Sir, we're about to close. Oh, no, no, you're not exactly close today. I mean, you could, but the cashier just closed the register, so you just come back tomorrow. Feel exactly four minutes until closing. Does this dude know what a mine is? Honestly, I feel like he, Guava Juice knew I was going to watch these videos and is fucking with me on a very personal level at this point. Why is the mime talking? Why did they even make a mime character? If the first thing he does is walk in and start talking, mimes don't talk. That's like the whole point of mime. He's not even doing anything mime related. Like he's not like going like this or anything. He just walks in and it's like, hey, can I have some donuts? He's just some guy with a French accent. Is this what he thinks all French people look like? Is this like a French person stereotype? Guava, if you're watching this, can you please leave in the comments below how the decision was made to make this character a mime? This was clearly thought through. You had to go out and buy this costume. This must be in a script somewhere. There must have been some reason that you made him a mime, right? And if so, can you tell me? Can you please tell me, Guava? I mean, to be fair, mimes are pretty funny looking and they are kind of random, so. I'll give him that. At the end of the day, I think that's what Guava Juice's videos boil down to. Just being random. It doesn't really matter what the things not to do at Dunkin' Donuts are. They're really just a vessel for him to insert as many random things happening as possible. I feel kind of weird critiquing it because a random shit is kind of funny sometimes. If you try to learn about comedy, one of the first things people tell you is it's a lot of it's about like subverting people's expectations, you know? Doing something random is kind of a way to do that. And like, I do that sometimes too. I'll put like a random thing in a video because I think it's funny but I think the difference is like inserting a random joke as a punchline every once in a while versus literally nothing not random happens. Everything in this entire video was random to the point where like he can't really subvert our expectations anymore because our expectation is just that something random is going to happen at all times. It will confuse me, but it probably won't make me laugh. And you know what? His videos do get like between four to 20 million views per video. So obviously someone finds them funny. So people do find these funny. Kids probably like them a lot, but I, just don't. Anyways, I think that's enough guava juice for today. So